Hey friends, welcome back to Law Creations. What you're looking at here is just me uh, doing my favorite part of uh, diorama making. It's just painting and adding details and just trying to add some contrasting colors and trying to make things as realistic as uh, possible. This particular diorama is for Scorpion Figure by McFarlane. And it's along the lines of a nether realm type of uh, diorama. And you just see a lot of fatalities in regards to the skeletons. And forgive the gore, but the blood. But with this particular scene, uh, you really kind of have to. Especially when you're going for realism. So I went ahead and just added a little bit of gore and uh, blood. I, didn't, I don't think I overdid it. I mean, you could really overdo it, but... This one was a lot of fun. So right now I'm just adding details in regards to the paintwork. And you can see the ground texture. I I have a lot of texture going on. So there's so many different techniques involved in this particular uh, piece. And I use a lot of sculptor mold. I use some uh, stone pebbles from Dollar Tree. In which I dyed with some inks. And I scattered them about. Uh, the skulls I picked up on eBay and I made molds and, and casts of them so I have them for my own my own uh, my own displays and the lava was made out of UV resin and I just added some acrylic paint to the uh, lava and uh, to the UV resin and it gave me that uh, it gave me that effect of of uh of glowing lava so i was pretty happy with that first time i've ever done anything like that and what else is going on the uh the base is made out of one inch uh foam board from home depot same with the back wall if you can see that left rock that was made out of a cone from the dollar tree i just carved it and then i added some texture uh texture paste to it some homemade texture paste and I did that across the whole diorama especially the back wall that received quite a bit of texture paste and the uh, the flooring received quite a bit of texture paste as well along with some sculptor mold and the beauty part of uh, right now I'm not actually doing a dry brush I'm just uh, if anything is a heavy heavy dry brush uh, I would just consider it painting in the uh, gray color so I needed to, I wanted to give this like a charred uh, area and I'm still working towards that. Like it was burnt with fire and it's just, I'm trying to give the underworld type of, uh, uh, type of look that I, I'm trying to achieve. And that's really difficult without just going all black. And I didn't want to do all black. So right here you just see me dry brushing and, and painting some of my pieces on the uh, terrain. And I love doing pieces like this. If, if you really want to learn how to dry brush and, and just find a piece that has a lot of texture to it. And you would be, uh, you would be a pro at dry brushing in no time. Uh, dry brushing is extremely easy, especially when there's a whole bunch of texture involved. And uh, I, I really think you need a lot of texture to, to dry brush uh, successfully. So yeah, you, in dry brushing you're just bringing out the high points with a highlight. And right now I'm just laying down the base color of the stone. I'm leaving... Uh, what I'm doing is, I'm, like I just said, I'm laying down the base color. And where I'm not painting, that's going to be the under layer. And that'll be the charred layer layer and i'm also going to continue adding layers of paint to the pieces i'm painting now uh, i'll probably come in with a little bit of a darker paint and then come in with a final lighter dry brush uh, i just don't want things to be too light uh, in regards to uh to the piece because i am trying to portray that dark dark atmosphere so and we'll see how uh, it comes along so uh, I hope you've been enjoying the, the last couple of videos I posted. I just added some music to some different in-process uh, work I was doing. 
uh, dry brush in the skulls and and um, things like that. So I had I found some nice music, uh, some good medieval style music, and I just put that to it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. But it was fun to create. I'm trying to mix it up. I'm trying to show you a little bit of in process uh, work right now. All I've shown is in process painting because that's the uh, point I'm at right now in in my uh, display. So, like I say, I'm always trying to create realism. And sometimes I overdo it. Sometimes I'm heavy-handed. But at the end of the day, I uh, usually just have to call it when I think it's good. Uh, because I will just keep going on and on and on. And, and just paint the same thing over and over until I achieve a look that you know I would be happy with. So that's kind of uh, where I'm at here in this process. I haven't, uh, I haven't sat in, at the hobby desk for a while because uh, I've just been really, uh, I've just been really just trying to find my mojo and find my creativity. Uh, I had suffered a personal loss in my life. Uh, my my younger brother passed away on Father's Day. And that was a real, uh, real difficult, uh, and it's still a very difficult time. But especially on Father's Day, as he had a 13-year-old daughter, and my brother and I was very close. He was my best man, and I was his best man at his wedding. And we lived about a mile away from each other. And and uh, yeah, it was it was sad. He was uh, he was 51 years old, which is uh, is too young. And, uh, but I have really fond memories of my brother and I know the healing process takes a long time, but, and my creativity, my, uh, my artwork uh, helps in that healing process. And I know I rant and rave about this particular hobby or creativity or drawing or just art in general as being a fantastic tool for a uh, racing mind, a depressed mind, uh, an anxious mind, because it allows you to be hyper-focused, and it allows you to settle, settle your mind down, and think on more creative, positive, uh, positive thoughts, you know, uh, I gotta say, my creativity dominates uh, a lot of my thinking, I'm always trying to find different ways to to make things better, to make things from scratch. I'm just trying different things. And my creativity really helps me, uh, really helps me slow things down and, and um, you know, get through, get through the day, you know, with a smile and, uh, you know, and some energy. So I always try to make uh, time every day to create, even if it's just for 10, 15 minutes, even if it's just cleaning up a little bit in my studio. Uh, I just find that time in my studio uh, refreshing and and encouraging. So, and I'm constantly thinking on what I want to create next and 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 things like that. So, uh, for those of you guys that have been following this build, this started with a uh, my torch process, which I was right in the middle of, and then my brother had passed and. I just kind of lost my mojo in regards to uh, in regards to wanting to complete that. But I, I believe I've shown you guys the finished product. If you have any questions in regards to more of the process, just drop me a, a, a comment, and I'd be more than happy to to tell you guys uh, how I did everything and and the final uh, the final touches on that particular torch. But yeah, so on this particular piece, I made I made some torches, but I I kind of used my creativity in regards to I wanted to add some skulls to the torches, so I cut I did some modifying and cut some pieces, and I went ahead and made uh, some skull torches for the back panel. Uh, the back panel is all uh, sculptor mold, and I used some castings of some stones. And to create that, I know right now you can't see it, but I'll I'll do a final reveal on this particular diorama. 
I just wanted to show you a little bit of in process and uh, touch base with those uh, those of you that follow my channel and uh, enjoy my content. And I, I really appreciate you guys a lot. And I just wanted to touch base. So this uh, this piece was a lot of fun creating. It did take me a while. Uh, on the back wall, I I sculpted the dragon for the Mortal Kombat symbol. And that was challenging. That was a lot of fun. And it came out okay. It probably could have came out better. But uh, I did the same thing with the UV resin in regards to adding lava out of the, uh, out of the emblem and the symbol. And that was a lot of fun. So right here I'm just doing a little bit of a heavy, a heavy dry brush on these particular little uh, uh, mounds. And it's not a very, very heavy dry brush, but I'm just trying to pick up the raised levels. And like I say, it's the first coat, and I'll come in with a lighter coat, and then, you know, this is the dark. I'll come in with a medium, and then I'll come in with a real uh, light coat, and I won't be as heavy-handed on that final coat. And the skewers are just uh, skewers from the doll store that I dremeled out the uh, the casting of the skull and I put the the um, the skewers through to give it that impaled kind of look. I also <clears throat> I think at the end of this video I'll, I show uh, I show how I sculpted you know a, a spine onto a skull so Scorpion can have that fatality look. And that came out okay. It's not definitely not perfect, but it, it definitely portrays the uh, the idea I was uh, going for. And I got random stuff on my piece and just trying to get rid of that. And yeah, so those pieces, uh, the rocks, I'll, I'll show you as well. But I had, a, I had to hollow out the larger rocks so I can add a heavier weight in them so they can... Uh, they can stand a lot more sturdy. But I picked those those particular rocks up at the doll store. They came in a foam uh, style cone. I'll, I'll have to show you guys exactly what I did because yeah, I was pretty happy with how it came out. And I just carved it. And then uh, at the end here, I believe I show you that particular rock that I started carving in. And just out of uh, a piece of styrofoam from the doll tree. Uh, you guys that follow my channel and you hear me uh, talk, you know I get a lot of my supplies from the doll store. Uh, I get a lot of my brushes, my go-to brushes, uh, Crafter Square brushes from the Dollar Tree. Those are great brushes. You get six or seven of them for a buck, obviously. And they, uh, they work out really well. So this video is winding down. I'll, I'm going to show you here shortly the uh, the torch the, the uh, stone torch that I had made and also the uh, my carved rock but uh, if you guys like this content if you want to see more I just picked up a a different style tripod so I can capture a video like this and zoom in on when I'm doing some work so so you'll catch some diorama tutorials and and uh, I'll share my work and tips and supplies and reviews and and so on and so forth. But yeah, uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, please like, and I really appreciate when everybody comments. And, uh, you know, I keep mentioning about my channel. It's not a very large channel, and I don't get a heck of a lot of views. But I do appreciate every one of you guys that take the time to view my video. You take the time to like it, and you you especially take the time to comment and interact with me. I try to respond to all the comments uh, as best as I can, and I don't get a heck of a lot of comments, but that that makes it easier for me to uh, respond to you. But yeah, if you have any questions, anything, any concerns, any you know tips that you want, techniques, any future videos you want to see. Uh, take some time and uh, give me a comment. And right here, I think shortly, I'm going to share with you guys my uh, my finished torch and, and that rock I had carved. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your evening. 
and I hope you have a blessed week and enjoy the rest of the the video. Thank you guys. So there's the rock that I had sculpted and I used some texture paste. And that's just a quick look of it. And right here's the torch, which was a lot of fun to make. Oh, no, right there's the skull with the uh, spine that I had sculpted. That came out pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. And right here is the torch. I always get that wrong. I'm always hitting the wrong button. So, yeah, that gives you a little idea. It gives you uh, the back wall, what it looks like, and 